I am Daniel Labra, I'm creative director of Edward Horror Studios and we are developing a realistic medieval open world first person RPG called Kingdom Come Deliverance. The game is unique in a way that it's a historical game that is basically a time machine that can take you to uh, 15th century Europe and you can do almost whatever you want to there. This is your chance to see how it really was back then. So we put a lot of effort into research. We work with the actual fencers who are studying old manuscripts and trying to find how the techniques work. So we try to recreate the most authentic version of actual European medieval martial arts uh, as possible from first person perspective, which is quite complicated, and with physics, which is even more technically complicated. You really can hit basically anywhere. You have 36 zones on every character, the sword slide, when they collide with the armor or, or, or shields or other swords. So it's quite technologically advanced uh, simulation. And it's also fun to play at the same time, which is the most important thing. The game is uh, currently available in an alpha stage for the backer. So if you uh, back the game, you can do it right now. And basically this alpha is already several square kilometers large world with nine quests and functioning combat system and horse riding. So you can test core features of the game how it plays, how it's going to look. We chose Kanjin mostly because of its capabilities of creating large open worlds and great tools to do it, so basically you can paint the world and stuff. And we could have dynamic lighting in the large open world, which was quite, quite unique at the time. And now there's this global illumination that looks awesome and it seems that it's going to work in our game without large impact on the frame rate, which is great. We decided the Grungeon suits us best. Achieved with CryEngine.